All right, welcome to Integral Physics. Today I wanna to talk about a problem that's extremely typical in most physics classes, and that is the situation where a rocket accelerates upward under its own power for a certain amount of time, then the engine cuts out. And what we're gonna to try to do in this problem is figure out the maximum height which this rocket is going to reach above the ground. And I'm gonna call that maximum height H max. Now realize this rocket is gonna accelerate under its own power for some certain amount of time. So we're gonna say it has some acceleration A power and that acceleration is gonna exist for some amount of time T power. That is to say it's under its own power for some time T. But realize this rocket's gonna accelerate upward to a certain height, but when the engine cuts out, it's not immediately going to stop and turn around and come back down. That's because as it accelerates upward, it's going to build up velocity upward. And once the engine cuts out, it's going to continue to coast upward to this maximum height, then come back down. So to solve this problem, we're gonna take the motion of this rocket and break it up into two phases. The first phase of motion is gonna be while the rocket is accelerating upward under its own power. The second phase of motion is going to be as it coasts upward to its maximum height, effectively in free fall. So what I wanna do first is look at the upward displacement of the rocket while it's in this powered flight phase of its motion as it's accelerating upward. So what I'm gonna do is use the kinematic equations to first solve for the displacement of this rocket as it is under power accelerating upward. So we'll start with our displacement equation. Now the displacement while this is under power is what I'm gonna call h power or the height which the rocket is going to achieve as it accelerates upward. Now realize the rocket starts at rest on the ground, so the initial velocity is going to be zero, plus one half times the acceleration, multiplied by the time squared. Now it's important to realize in this problem that the upward displacement of the rocket while it's under its own power is not the maximum height that's going to achieve. And that is because when the rocket reaches this point right here, it is going to have some velocity upward. And I'm going to refer to that as the velocity when the engine cuts out. Now we need to know the actual value for this velocity when the engine cuts out. And we can do that by looking at another kinematic equation, and that is this equation, which is going to relate the velocities to the acceleration. So our final velocity over this first phase of motion is in fact the velocity when the engine cuts out. And I'm going to set that equal to our initial velocity, that's zero, plus the acceleration multiplied by the time. So now I have two equations. One tells me where this rocket is going to be when the engine cuts out, that is how far it's gone upward. The other equation tells me how fast it's moving upward when the engine cuts out. And using these two values, I can now start to look at the second phase of this rocket's motion, and that is as it travels up to its maximum height in what is effectively free fall. Now, if I want to solve for the maximum height which this rocket is going to reach right here, I need to use a kinematic equation that's going to take into account all of the motion of the rocket from when the engine cuts out until when it reaches its maximum height. So ultimately, we're treating this as a free fall problem, even though the rocket is moving up, and we're going to be using the kinematic equation that relates our velocities to acceleration and displacement. Realize the displacement over this free fall phase of motion is going to be this upward distance that the rocket travels while in free fall. So applying the situation of the rocket moving upward in free fall to this equation, starting with the final velocity. The final velocity of the rocket is going to be the velocity of the rocket when it reaches its maximum height. Now I know the rocket can turn around and fall back down, but the point we're concerned with, what we're calling the final velocity, is in fact the velocity when it's at its very maximum height. And at its maximum height, the velocity of that rocket is going to be zero, because that's the point where the velocity transitions from being positive upward to negative downward. Now the initial velocity of the rocket is not gonna be zero like it was down here. Realize the initial velocity of this rocket is really looking at the initial velocity of the rocket in its free fall phase of motion, which was actually the velocity of the rocket when the engine cut out, which we solved for here. And we're gonna add in two times the acceleration due to gravity. Realize this acceleration due to gravity is not the acceleration from when the rocket was accelerating upward. 
it's the acceleration while it's in free fall. I'm going to call that g. And because that acceleration is downward, we're actually going to say it is negative g. And I'll put that in parentheses so we don't get confused. Then our displacement is simply going to be the displacement while it's in free fall. Now to solve for our displacement while the rocket's in free fall, we're going to substitute in the equation we came up with here, right there. And then we'll solve for the actual displacement. So now we have an equation for the upward displacement of the rocket over this free fall phase of motion. Now it's tempting to say that this is the answer to the problem, but realize this is only the displacement from when the engine cuts out here until the rocket reaches its maximum height. So if we want to solve for the maximum height which the rocket reaches above the ground, we simply need to add together this height or this upward displacement of the rocket while it was under power to the displacement of the rocket while it was in free fall. So substituting in this equation we came up with up here for the upward displacement of the rocket while it's under power. And this equation for the upward displacement while the rocket is traveling upward in free fall. We come up with an equation that relates the upward acceleration of the rocket for a certain amount of time, as well as gravity to the maximum height which is going to be reached by the rocket above the ground. So like I said, this is a pretty typical problem that you'll find in most introductory physics classes. I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.